that whole premise of a show is wild. She was sold to that nigga by her brother. Well, shit. I who mean, was the cousin fucking alone. Yeah. Or well, it's not, the, yeah. not the cousin fucking, the, the sibling. The sibling, fucking. yeah. He was, he was smashing her. He was like, you're my property. But then sold her off to some other nigga. And he was smashing her. And then that nigga still was trying to smash. And then, and then sold her off for gold. And then she melted the gold and said, here's your gold. Poured it on his face. Well, oh, no, that, did, yeah, but she wasn't her. against it. Yeah, she wasn't against it. Do you know what we talked about? And then that nigga got bodied. Yeah, he, how did he die? Did he get sick? I forgot. Dothraki disease. Yeah. And then she was like, I am your queen now. And no, none of the Dothraki men were like, wow. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck is you. We're you about a lot been of here things. for two weeks. No, for real, for real. <laughs> And then she got baby dragons. Well, yeah. she got eggs that were decoration that she was somehow able to breathe life into to create dragons. Through the fire. Oh, Don't forget fault. the fire part. Bullshit. Hmm. You telling me them shits was never set on fire before? Yeah, that is crazy. No way. Let me, let me, let me see what this do <laughs> real quick. Let me see. What's good, y'all? This is another episode of the R&B Podcast, your favorite podcast that drops every Wednesday, local Eastern time, with your help. I really gotta lose weight, because this motherfucker was like, hey, don't move, It was buddy. like, Ear, yeah, it was like, hey, buddy, stop moving. It was like, please, please. please. It's bad enough you're sitting on me. <laughs> stop fucking moving. With your host, with the most, Rick. <laughs> Rick motherfucking Thompson. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> and hi, I'm Plax. How you doing? I'm the- well, we did a podcast where I just, oh, oh, it's for, an an mic, for an hour. It wouldn't last that long because I turned the shit <laughs> you off. Turn it off. <laughs> but, It'd be funny at first after like 10 minutes. I'm doing yeah. what done. Uh, this is episode 126. 126. Moving quick. Yeah. I don't we know almost at 200. Yeah, I don't know what to call this one. So. Oh, Rick, I got I got something. Uh, I was going to ask you when the camera's off, but I might as well ask you now. When we hit 1,000 subs, do you want to do another live on the scene as a thank you or whatever? Where would we be on the scene at? Trend up someplace else. Don't really matter. Possibly. Find some place. It depends on how quickly we hit a thousand. Yeah, well now if we just hit a thousand like as we're talking, yeah. no, then mm-hmm. probably not. Yeah. But if it like gradually happens and we can be ready for I'll it. I'll say this. If we hit a thousand, we'll do a skit. We'll do a a skit about hitting a thousand? We'll do a skit. Maybe it'll be about that. Maybe it'll be about, be about we'll do a high budget skit. A real high budget ooh. Yeah, fuck. props and stuff and angles and <laughs> you you mean how I want to do skits? Yeah, yeah okay. but they don't work out that way. So that's why we just do it. The, they just the, the amount of effort we put into them don't versus equal the what return. We, what yeah. the return is. So we have to do the yeah Tony stat skit. Sorry, no disrespect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No disrespect. <laughs> but don't, yeah. don't end us before we get started. <laughs> Who the fuck is he doing skit about yeah. just bum ass niggas? Bum ass fat niggas. Yeah. Like damn. Well, Tony, you're not. Well, is he skinny? He's kind of. I feel like he's. I rarely skin- see his full body. He's so. skinny enough to make fun of us. I feel fair, like. That's fair. That's not hard. Not <laughs> hard. I'm six two and thick. <laughs> Most niggas would enjoy that, but y'all complaining. <laughs> Most niggas. We try, All right. We well, trying to catch talk- Frank Ocean. A tornado mm-hmm. around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. Niggas was you bumping that joint back the in the day. The minute they found out he was gay. They say they turn that gay shit off. But see, the thing is, though, in my because that was like middle school, kind of. Mm-hmm. I was like, uh, well, I'm not talking about niggas. So. <laughs> yeah, like, well, he so never hard. says in that song, he never he says. He never says it, no. He he never says one way or the other. Mm-hmm. It's very gender neutral. A tornado flew mm-hmm. around, which that's the craziest part is that to, to basically, I guess his excuse to why his room was dirty from someone else being in his room to a, the other person, he said a tornado flew my room. Not I was cheating on you. <laughs> a tornado flew around my room before you, you came. came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't, doesn't rain. And- Come on now. That nigga's crazy. Oh my God. He's I'm going to turn though. that bitch on when I drive home today. Nah, for real. That shit is hard. I don't care if you're talking about niggas, man. That it shit doesn't matter. Hard. If y'all can listen to R. Kelly, y'all can listen to Frank Ocean. That's Hey, you know what? Wait a, <laughs> wait a second now. If you can listen to R. Kelly, you can Kelly. listen to Frank Ocean. Yo. And if you and if you have a problem with that, you like you like children, but not men. And I feel like that's a question. Niggas do be talking, don't they? Do be bumping R. Kelly, 
and then not bumping Frank Ocean thinking about you. That's a problem. Yeah, that I <laughs> need to hey do some looking inside. <laughs> do some introspection. Do some introspection. Like, this is a clip. Yeah, this by is the way. definitely uh, straight up off the I, bat. This yeah. is off some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, bullshit question too. No, that's crazy. Guys. If you can't separate the art from the artist, why do we all stop listening to Frank Ocean? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm listening I, I to I'm one. listening to Ye's album when it yeah. dropped. Uh, is that, is, uh, so, I'm standing to So that's what it. we're gonna talk about first then. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Might as well. I didn't know it was on there. But yeah, yeah, Ye got yeah. an album coming out. Yeah. Um, I will be listening to it. I'm standing to ten times. Uh, you can I'll only listen, listen to, it. to it as long as you put the picture of what he was dressed like at the at the party. That was crazy. Yeah, but he you did gotta, call himself you gotta a put black. it. You gotta put it right here. He put it right here. Okay. Yeah. He called himself a black skinhead. Years yeah, but ago. that was a black. That was a black Klansman. It's a movie called Black Klansman. But he wasn't wearing that. <laughs> that nigga is crazy. There's something wrong with that nigga. But like, just the snippets I heard, I said, "Wow, this nigga's really." He looks like talented. he looks like what I have imagined raccoons to be like when people talk about him. <laughs> And by raccoons, I mean the the word that'll get me banned on YouTube. We've said it a lot, though. It's okay. So, so yeah, he Sly looks... Sly Cooper, that's what we Yeah, call yeah, Sly he Cooper. looks like what a Sly Cooper would, would... Like, if you were to describe a Sly Cooper, like the Uncle Toms and whatnot, that's what they would look like to me in my I imagination. Don't, I don't think he's that, though. I don't think he's a Sly Cooper. I just think he's just a weird nigga that don't know how to... Don't know how to give a message without doing something extreme. Mm. And we don't understand Like only he understands his messages Okay We don't Like he'd be like Oh they go They go love I don't this. know Some and of his Some of his it. takes make me think He's a little wild I used to do that as a kid Oh yeah Just eat the Oh maybe we should stop <laughs> Hey <laughs> <laughs> tone, tone it down tone Matter of fact down. Give me 10 push ups <laughs> Right now She's like What do you mean <laughs> <laughs> Oh but as long as it's one or two slices, it's fine. I used to I used to put away like four. It depends. It mm-hmm. depends on. See, I'm giving her free reign to grab her own, so I don't know what she's about to grab. Mm. <sighs> I need to start taking steps so Shiley don't look like me when she. Oh uh, well, she already looks like you. Well, not. She don't want to be a big back, a big so back. to speak. Can't do nothing about her face. Yeah, <laughs> well. but. She don't want to be a big back. Yes. Yeah, there's surgeries for that, too. Black women shouldn't do that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm against black women altering their face. Why? Because uh, they don't need to. Oh, okay. Other women do. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, come on. White women age like milk. All right. We're going to get in trouble. Rick, we're always in trouble. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. We'll never have fans. I think well they trickle in like every ten people that hate us. Yeah, we there's get one, one that like us. Yeah, we get one that like I really fuck with these guys. They're, I get the, what they're talking about, and mostly it's because the not saying we can't have the potential of being nasty niggas, yeah. but most of the world are disgusting human beings. Yeah, and they don't so, like to see regular dudes. Yeah, so when we say something, like, damn, I am terrible. Every yeah. time they look at us, they be like, wow, we're terrible people. Yeah. But. Maybe these people are just outliers. As I know, you're just nasty. Yeah, like we we don't get wrong. I got some crazy takes that might not be the most. That might be frowned upon. Yeah, hundred percent. But um, if I'm wrong, I'm okay with saying I'm wrong. <laughs> I was like, oh well, might not have been my greatest. Take. I'll say this: I wasn't wrong about bare knuckle boxing, and anybody who has a problem with it. I don't know shit about boxing. Um, as you can see, I'm not a fighter, but Rick was right. So suck his dick. Yeah, <laughs> you can literally j- j- Google it. Yeah. Google whatever I'm saying. Actually, I can put it right here. And anybody it's who asks, right. has this dude ever been in a fight? Has he punched anybody? Step up. But it's right here. You don't even have step to. Step up. But it's. Step up. But Rick, Rick it's. They, well, maybe they can't read. They that, can't read. Yeah. It's possible that you guys can't read. No, they they uh they they speech the text. Some of you guys can't spell for yeah. sure. No, they definitely can't. Definitely. Yeah, no. <laughs> Some of y'all be cooking me though. Like one nigga was like, take the good uh good beer. beer. Yeah. I was like, that's the second person within the last couple months to say they thought my beard was fake. And I don't know. If, I don't know how to take that. I feel like that's low key a compliment. Because this that, does that mean my beard is fire enough to look fake, or does do I just look like a fake human being? I don't. I, don't I, I would say maybe it looks like it doesn't fit your face is what they're trying to say. But at that that's point, fair. it's saying it it looks full enough and and like dark enough to be like that's a fake beard. Yeah, ain't no way that that's a real beard. That's yeah. okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, no, they've, they've, been, been, like, they've been cooking us every once in a while. What was the dude who said uh, he didn't watch our full video because his phone got too yeah, heavy? Yeah, his phone got heavy. That, buddy, <laughs> buddy, you cooked us on no, yeah. And then the classic, the guy that called me academics. You hurt my feelings, bro. You legitimately. He talks about that every day. I talk about it every day. You legitimately hurt my feelings, and shout out to you for doing that, bro. You hurt me bad. That was a W. Yeah. He if if we blow up, he can forever say I hurt Plaque's feelings. You hurt Plaque's feelings. <laughs> so about Kanye's album, you're saying uh-huh. you're gonna listen to it? Yes, I'm gonna listen to it. Ba- mainly it's because a, of it's a dual album, right? It's a dual album. Yeah, oh, it's him know. and Ty Dolla Sign. Oh yeah, yeah, they did it together. Yeah. yeah. Um. Mainly based on the snippets, he had he had Charlie Wilson singing uh, "Everybody" by NSYNC or whoever, whatever band. One of those boy bands made, yeah. made it. Backstreet Boys, I think. Backstreet, yeah, um, yeah. Backstreet, back. They all the all same right. to me. NSYNC, back. That's not true. All the same Come on, N- NSYNC is way better than Backstreet Boys. That's only because they got Timberlake. If they have Timberlake, it'd just be the same. Yeah, niggas. but they do, so it don't matter. Who Backstreet got? Because first of all, the BT, streets. First of all, BTR over both of them. Who Backstreet got? Chance. Who is on the Backstreet Boys? You didn't get the joke? I didn't. Because remember Chance did the Dorito commercial with the Backstreet Boys? He might as well be because <laughs> ain't nobody listen to that happy ass shit he be dropping. But his girl, him and his girl was having issues, so he might get a banger. Oh, really? Yeah, because he was dancing at uh, that... Uh, oh, I didn't know he really got party. in trouble for that. She tweeted something that made it seem like he got in trouble. Oh, but shame. he probably bought her something and she was fine. Yeah. Uh, women, he is wild for women, dancing man. on beautiful dark-skinned women... While she was probably at home with the kids, that's kind of crazy. When you put it like that, sure. Ah, okay, you know what? <laughs> I can't defend him. You got I me. Don't know like Rick, you I, got me. I don't know if you. No, nah, you got me. It's wild. He can yeah. do what he wants because he's chance the rapper, yeah, but it's no, still but, no. Wild. You got me. You got me. I yeah. couldn't defend that. I, I had I had like a whole, whole thesis song. statement. I had written a whole soliloquy about it. You know what? That statement right there, mm-hmm. you got me in one. Yeah, it's just wild. He can, he's free to do what he wants yeah. as a human. It would have been different if she was there but not around, and he had gotten that dance. Because then it's like, you know, this is the culture. Mm, that's your this dance is the on a crazy line. Let me let me put it like this: not yeah. your girl, but if a girl you were dating was dancing on a nigga at uh, what is it a uh, carnival? Yeah, am I getting dances? Uh... If I'm getting dances, you don't care. If 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 I'm getting dances and she's giving out dances, but it stays at dances. Yeah, no, it's just dances. Yeah, it stays no. at dances, and yeah, that's literally the culture. That's what that. That's all that shit is. If you're there and you're trying to participate, like being there and just being around it and absorbing it t- all. Yeah, that's a tough that, that that it's not. Even, I won't even say tough, but I'm saying that's something that you got to decide beforehand. Like I want to go here with my girl and just. Enjoy it all and, her, and, right. and get danced by on by my girl when that's it and just be enjoying us mm-hmm. as a couple. But if you're going there and you're trying to like really be a part of the experience and you're willing to get danced on and you're not willing to have her dance on someone, then I feel like that's weird. Well, yeah, if you obviously if you trying that's to a, get danced yeah, on, that's some cuckery. That's crazy. Yeah. I, for some reason, Rick, I don't believe you though. I don't think you'd be okay with your girl dancing on niggas. If I'm getting, I I just said my caveat. If I'm going okay, out if, there, what if you're not like for some reason they just like they just not did not because you can't they just not. So am like I still agree am to, I still actively trying to go out there and get dances and I'm just getting rejected? <laughs> sound like I'm disrespecting you. I'm not. No, that's respect. fine. No, I. But this yeah. is the, this is the thing. Yeah, if I'm ugly. Okay. No, nothing. No, just, y'all, y'all, no, y'all gotta I understand. No, that. no, Steve, 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 don't save, don't save my life. Okay. I'm ugly. Everybody who watches RMP, everybody who listens to RMP, if you haven't seen our faces before, I'm telling you I'm ugly. Okay, so you don't have to you don't have to imagine it. Just know I'm ugly, and I'm okay with that. There's nothing anybody out there could say that would legitimately hurt my feelings that I haven't said to myself in the mirror growing up. (laughs) And I've come to terms with that. I I've grown self esteem from it. Y'all have people out there who has a, who have a problem with how I look for some reason. Y'all haven't like, I don't know if y'all Practical. haven't grown into y'all yeah. skin yet. But trust me, it gets better. Mm. And I pray for you, brother. But I will disrespect you on the way up to the top. Mm. That's all I gotta say. I, yeah, but I did. I would like to let it be known. I think Rick's a handsome. It's okay. Color. I'm ugly. Like Steve, S- stop. It's okay. No, look look at me in the eyes, man. I'm being serious. Steve, look me in the eyes, man. I'm ugly, man. <laughs> I, I, I know it's tough to look at me, Steve. Just look me in the eyes. I'm ugly, man. man I'm, ugly. I'm looking at you. Now continue your statement. Good. I'm ugly, man. No, I legitimately my, my, think my Rick man's. is a handsome fellow. 
You my brother. I love yes. I love you, man. Yes, and I love it's you okay. too. I'm trying to I'm tell ugly. you. We we brothers in everything but blood. We're not related. No, it's okay to tell It's, in. it's okay to in. tell me I'm ugly. We not Rick, related. I don't think you're ugly. So dude. you don't have no family features of mine. I'm ugly, man. It's fine. All right. Now tell these people what you wanted to say about me. And then mic drop. <laughs> shout out, shout out, hey mom. Hey mom. So <laughs> you weren't getting no dances at all. Okay. Was I trying to get dances? <laughs> <laughs> See, that makes it crazy. It's fine. I'm ugly. It's how many times I got to say it? How many times does he want me to hurt myself? I'm ugly. Okay, yes, you were actively trying. And you I wasn't get getting up. Nope. Okay, nope. then, yes, I'm fine with it. You, I don't believe that, I bro. Stepped it. I don't believe that. I'm I could be wrong. I just don't see, I don't see you being okay with that. I work, literally my whole philosophy in life is mm. treat others how you would want to be treated. Facts. To the point to where it causes issues in my personal and, like, relationship life because... Mm. Because people aren't the same. No, that's so true. So if you go by the treat others how you would want to be treated, people don't always receive that in mm-hmm. the way that they, it's you intended. Would think they should, yeah, because yeah, right. it's like if I'm treating you how I would want you to treat me, that means I'm treating you either well or what I perceive as well, mm-hmm. or I'm treating you bad and have no expectations of you not treating me bad back. Mm. But people internalize things, they look at things differently, everybody's experience is different. Like mm-hmm. Quick example, right? And then we get back into the topic. Yeah, yeah. Brianna makes me food. Mm-hmm. She puts the food on the plate for me, and then oh, and it gives and then okay. like gives it to me or puts it on the, and be like, "Your food's here, right?" Most niggas lucky they eat. <laughs> and so <laughs> and ahead. so that's her treating me one way. Mm-hmm. I when I cook, I leave it in the pot and then be like, you know, get what you're getting. But that's for everybody. It's not like I sit there and make myself a plate, really. Like, I don't make myself a plate and then sit down and be like, food's in the kitchen. I let her know the food is done. I let her go get whatever she's getting, and then I have the rest. Just so I don't, because I don't like, I don't like. Ga- oh, you let her get her stuff Yeah, because I don't like gauging what other people are going to eat. Like, I like, because I don't, because cause the thing is, right, I'm not going to gauge your portions. One. That's fair. One, I already know how women go. So <laughs> I'm not falling for that trap. Two, I'm the last person to be like, okay, I think she'll eat this much, and then I should get this much of it. Because I'm fat, man. So I'll be looking at that pot and be like, damn, I really cooked so much. Like, I cooked. This like, crazy. Let me get a plate or two. Let, let me say this. I'm going to let her get her food. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to uh, let her get oh, her so food. Oh, so you think then, like a fat nigga. Okay, yeah. I, you, I understand what you're saying now. You're like, I'm going to let her get what she want because yeah. the rest is gone. <laughs> the rest, there is no <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't with you for a second, but thinking like a fat nigga that makes you sense. know what they call leftovers in my house? What the the pa- uh, the plates and the, and the utensils? That's the leftovers. The dishes. The, the dishes. That's the leftovers. The utensils and the plates. Okay, taking away for the average person, not the fat man. Yeah. For the average person, I do think there is some level of like I guess intimacy to it. Mm-hmm. To like, if your girl make you a plate, sometimes you can make her a plate. Sometimes. Yeah. But on the on the back end, as a fat nigga, I do understand what you were doing. Because yeah. um, if you only give her a little bit, knowing <laughs> that you doing that for a reason, like you fat ass. <laughs> now that's the argument. So I get, I get it. It's two sides. Or if she thinking I'm like, sides. why are you giving me small portions? You don't think I just? I'm like, no, I. You can eat oh, whatever you want to eat. A di- yeah. see, see. So it's like a slippery slope. Yeah. I'm not making it up. It's not in my head. Because if you give her a lot, yeah. she's going to be like, oh, what you, what I'm like, you think I'm, Yeah, you think I'm fat, and, and then you, you give a little. You think I'm fat. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, it's almost oh, as if, yeah, no nah. matter what you do, yeah. she going to think she fat. So, See me? <laughs> hey, as long as you fill the plate up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick, fill that motherfucking plate up. See, but that's you. For them, it's for different. For them, it don't work like that, yeah. If you order from McDonald's, and you get two cheeseburgers for yourself, and you get her one cheeseburger, she's going to be like, you think I'll, I don't need two? But, but if you, you give get her two, two you're like, oh, you think like, I'm damn, a Damn, you think you I nigga? eat two? Like, bitch, what do you want? Fuck it. You put the money in her hand. The shit that's that, what, nah, the shit. shit. Like, so you slap her up with the $20 and you let her get whatever she get. Give me the change. The shit that fucks me up is the, this will cause me to break up with you. Okay. At this point in my life, the, oh, I don't want anything. Um. And then... We I order whatever I order. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. I order whatever I order. You like, oh, let me get a little piece of that. Mm-hmm. A little piece of what? 
I'm fat. Even if we go on this journey and I lose weight, I don't think my heart going to change. I'm a fat man forever. <laughs> Bitch, if I ask you what you, you want, want. You you wanted that answer then. Tell me what you want. Tell I do, what you I want, do have what a you really, really want. Yeah, tell me what you want. If I ever really, get into really a relationship want. again, I am just going to get something for it regardless. Mm-hmm. And then be like, oh, I said I didn't want anything. It's there. And please don't take none. And then you can spin. And then you can spin back and eat that if if she don't eat if it. If she really don't eat it, yeah. that, that's a midnight snack. <laughs> that's a that's little. That's a midnight snack. That's a little. <laughs> Remember Patrick? Oh God, it's three a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I was starving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, man, we just feed into it. Uh, get it? Feed into ah, it. Ah, we're fat. <laughs> and I'm ugly. <laughs> Rick, bro, you're not ugly, Steve, bro. Stop Steve. doing it. We're going to do well, this again. Me, We've this. already well, devoted too much if time If you was ugly, this. how are you in a relationship? Like, damn she near She has married. terrible taste. You're crazy. You seen her last nigga? <laughs> Rick, don't get me started. Because <laughs> you... Rick, don't get me started. You seen her last nigga? I'm going to step up. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I almost got in trouble last time. I was up. publicly shaming that nigga. Yeah, you was. No, that was, that was yeah, I'm gonna step up, but only. Shout out to him. I hope you're doing okay, yeah, buddy. I hope you're doing good. Though. I'm only a step up mentally. <laughs> I'm like this. Other than that, he was just an average looking nigga. I'm, just, I'm below average, but my personality shines through like a light, like I don't, a diamond. Shine I don't know, bright Rick. like a. If I gotta change a nigga diaper, references. bro, I don't think I don't think he's he didn't have to change his diaper. He was he was mentally competent. <laughs> he just he just had behavioral issues. I didn't say that again. He just had behavioral you issues. You grown as man would be. We wasn't grown then, Rick. We that, wasn't grown then. We was in high school. Nigga was twenty two. <laughs> I believe it. You know what? I believe it. All right, let's. I hope you, I hope you doing well, man. I, I hope you doing good. Bro. Sorry, it ended the way. I hope you worked on those behavioral I'm just issues him. as well. Um, you did finesse that. that was, I'm sorry. Never mind. Let's keep that. Let's chill. Ricky called himself ugly. He pulled a crazy move, and he's still locked in with her to this day. I, ugly niggas can't do that, man. That's what I'm just saying. Ugly niggas can't do shit like that. All right. That's all I'm saying. Man. I had to send out a telepathic signal. <laughs> to him? Yeah. <laughs> Back the fuck up, nigga. Nah, um, what was he talking about? Oh, yeah, Kanye's album. Yeah, yeah I'm going to listen to it. Because some of the samples sound so crazy. Yeah. He had Charlie well, Wilson Well, technically, we, we skipped back too far. Because we, we were supposed to talk about the Chance getting a dance. Oh, fuck. Damn, yeah. yeah chance getting a dance. Yeah, chance, chance getting a dance. Getting a dance. <laughs> Um, Is that the name of the episode? Chance getting the dance. Fuck it, yeah. Like Chance, and it's going to be Chance at dancing yeah. on the shorty. His girl ain't going to like that one. No, she she going to report us. She got strong chin. She might She might box. We're not going to have Chance the Rapper on this podcast ever. He might His see us in the street. His wife is pretty. His wife is pretty. No, nah, Chance is a criminal. Yeah. He do that nice guy shit, but he's actually I don't know, because isn't his parents a politician? I don't know. Pastor Bridget, a pastor. Guess what he was doing back in the day? <laughs> I'll treat that nigga like I treat Tariq St. Patrick. That's a fake ass gangster. He grew who Chance? Yeah, he grew uh, up nah, wealthy. He talks about it. Nah, I ain't about to do that, bro. That nigga was on Ninety Third Street and shit. <laughs> That's not a real street. It's some one of them streets in Chicago. <laughs> but yeah, and so guess Chan- what? I'm gonna stay away from all of them. So that was a joke, <laughs> Chance. If you if you're seeing this, nah, uh, it's too late. They, you know they only go clip. Listen, it's two years from now. Yeah. They're only going to clip the part where you disrespected them. They're not going to clip the rest of it. Hopefully, y'all clip the Liz Gilly shit because I want her to know. <laughs> I want her to know how I feel. All right. Clip that now. She's she's happily married to a man twice her age. That's what I'm saying, bro. He groomed her. I guess Get by the time they the clip that, he might be out of there. He might be. Like, physically. The like, only thing about like dating. He, he, might, he might be gone. Oh, that you meant broken up with. No. He is old as shit. He's old. He's my, like 57. He's 57? I've made that number I was up. about to say, oh my fucking he's like, God. He's like 40 something. That's still crazy. She's mm. she's our age. <laughs> she's, she's around our age. The only issue with dating Liz like Gillies is Matt Bennett. Because I think he still be smacking her and Ari on some friendship shit. <laughs> and he's a lucky nigga because he could live that life. By the power of friendship. Yeah, with the power of friendship. Word to the Miami Heat. Like, he's doing <laughs> <laughs> He's working. By and the he power still of get friendship. to smack. 
He don't even got to act. Like, they just be like, oh, man, we having a little sleepover. He go over there. Snacks, movies, cheeks. That's a, what life is that? What leap and bound did you reach that? That nigga is living the life. We keep stepping away. Well, Chance Matt Bennett the smacking dance. Ari and Liz on a regular basis is more important. Than no, Chance, Chance getting, getting a dance, dance right? All You're right. saying if I was at Carnival, yeah, I don't believe and I that couldn't you get would, a dance. Yeah, I don't think you. But I was trying been. to get a dance. I think you would be like the Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I feel like you would be like, God damn it. <laughs> well, I would just turn into an insult. Be like, I deserve these dances. Why am I not getting any? <laughs> That's a crazy drop off. Uh, no, being an incel could you like uh, Why don't I deserve booty meat? Uh. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Well, at least you're not like projecting it on her. You uh, no, it's, internalizing it's it yourself. It's, it's every that. other woman that's a problem, not mine. <laughs> She's like, of course niggas are going to yeah. dance with her. Yeah. <laughs> She's a woman. My, what a old me. My, my woman is uh, Coretta Scott King. And Michelle that, Obama. That makes sense because she's a black <laughs> Don't woman. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So it's Jonathan Major. Yeah, so, tra- so transition. That's a white girl. transition. You're gonna listen to Kanye's album. I'll probably listen to it too. Yeah. Transitioning away Hold from on. that because there wasn't much, really much to say on that. Right. Uh, yeah. So transitioning over, we talked about Jonathan Major's last episode. Yeah. Uh, we have more I, updates. I've learned that I like to slouch a lot in these chairs because they lean back. So I'm. Sit up straight. Sit up so y'all can see my shoulder muscles. I'm fat. Hashtag Fat Joe. I'm a lean back every time. <laughs> shout out. Um, shout out Fat Joe. Shout out Fat Joe. Hey, we need a fat. We we need a, a lean back. Remix. We need a new fat nigga. Who's an o- OT Genesis Mexican? What's his name? <laughs> that nigga is shaped oddly. <laughs> that's and not that's his coming name from though. Me. I'm saying what's his actual name? OT Genesis Mexico. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? OT Genesis All Mexico. Right. Right? Now I'm look it up. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, we have an update on Jonathan Majors. Um, he, apparently he's a runner. He's a track star. He's a fucking runner. Nah, some niggas was like, oh, he couldn't get away from the white girl. I seen the video. That nigga was getting away from the yeah, white. No, he she's was, fast. No, yeah. that nigga was. No, gone. He, was he was. He was getting this. Is, the yeah. the one thing that people are ignoring in that video. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to make sure it's not blurry. You might as well just go all the way up there to see if it's blurry. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> now you gotta fix it. Damn. Wait, Rick. I'm an ugly nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve. Welcome to the club. Twenty nine. <laughs> welcome to the club. Welcome to the. Welcome the to the. The closer I got, to I got scared. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is this? Look at that man. Make my f- beard is fake. <laughs> but look, hold on, wait. <laughs> um, yeah, people were saying like, oh, he couldn't even get away from the white girl. I was like, nah, bro. Like he was hawking, in in high tops <laughs> and fucking loafers. He was hawking it. Um, but the white girl is fast. But like I said in the chat. That's because white bitches do Pilates and yoga and shit. So she, like, that's how I know she was fast. Now I'm trying to find... Yeah, I bet. What what, what you seeing? What I'm, you seeing? I'm seeing just OT Genesis. Oh, there it is. OT uh, Genesis what? What do you see? Hold on. Don't go to his Instagram. Nah. I have to. That's the only way. Nah. To... The, that Mexican nah, is crazy. That's not his... This is... I'm trying to find his name. It's bro. OT Genesis Mexico. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> shut up. It's OT Genesis Mexico. I told I you already. <laughs> I gotta go to my shit to open it up. All right, Rick is Rick tweaking. Okay, some some new news about the you Jonathan said Major I'm tweaking. situation. You keep making up this nigga's name. That's it is, what have you seen when you searched him? What did you search when you searched him? I, I searched up OT Genesis Mexico, but that's not, I did. That's not Stop. his name. <laughs> I don't feel like hearing <laughs> the niggas uh, in the in the comments saying like y'all racist or something. I'm trying to really figure That's out. That's what he's promoted as. I'm not calling him That's that because he looked like that. I just said the nigga that. was shaped odd. I can say that because I'm also that shaped Mexican odd. OT. So that nigga name ain't OT Genesis Mexico. Rick? All right, we're not doing. All this. right, man, stop, bro. What are we doing? Trying All to be right. politically correct. He's a Mexican and he's fat. <laughs> why the why? 
Why? We can't alienate our, <laughs> ourselves from everybody. Oh, I guess fuck. that's fair because we're fat. Yeah, we're fat. I can say what I want about fat people because I'm fat. But once we lose weight, we're not going to be able to. And we're going to have to constantly show people that we were fat. I'll just lift up my shirt so they can see the skin wrinkles. No, nah, I'm getting that surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we got bread because I'm getting that, that surgery. surgery. You get rid of the skin wrinkles? Yeah, that shit. Soon as soon as I get down to a certain amount, I'm like, yeah. Well, if you, as Call long the as doctor. You, <laughs> as long as you put like a uh, lotion and like cocoa butter on your on your stomach and stuff as you, you think lose it won't weight, happen? It'll, it'll, it'll shrink. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, bet. Y'all gonna, it's going to be an episode where me and Rick just oiling ourselves. <laughs> And hey, you gotta watch it. We gonna look the straight whole, at the camera. The whole you gotta watch the whole joint. I, I won't get enough confidence for that. If you're subscribed, you have to watch the whole joint. I, I don't like that at all. It's like episode like this. That's like episode three, three hundred two. It's it's a little bit away from now. But uh, what were we talking about? We oh, saw John, John the Major's made. running. Yeah, he had platforms on. Yeah, platforms. That's what I was saying. Yeah, and he was hawking. No, he so was, imagine he in sneakers. Oh, sneakers. He, he, he would have been a dot. In the <laughs> he been, he been, just <laughs> he would have been a dot on the camera. He was in, he was in creed shape but, at that point, so he would have been a dot. Why was she chasing that nigga though? Because so supposedly how the situation went, and I look at the camera as I explain this. Supposedly how the situation went, they were in a car together. Mm-hmm. Um, she accused him of cheating. Mm-hmm. She wanted his phone. He said no. Mm-hmm. I'm not giving my phone and get out. She mm. said, no, I don't want to get out. So he was like, oh, you don't want to get out. I'm going to get out. Bet. And she was like, well, if you getting out, I'm getting out. And Chase. We should make that video. Just need the sound. <laughs> he was about it there, though. Yeah. That nigga was moving. But um, also, uh, all jokes aside from the Chase. Yeah. Update. Uh, apparently, the driver of the vehicle who couldn't speak English, he needed a translator or couldn't speak English yeah, well. Sound like she was mad at. Yeah, him. sound like she was mad at him. And in the scuffle, he didn't see how the scuffle went. Yeah. But it sounded like Jonathan got worked. Is he, what got, he, said. he got. He got. Yeah, yeah. It sounded like Jonathan was the one getting worked from what he could hear. And then the two people that um, I don't know if you guys hear Shiley in the background. She's doing something back there. But um, one of the people. Or both of the people that she ended up with at that party Mm -hmm. said she didn't have any injuries on her. And she mentioned that her and Jonathan were arguing and they might be breaking. They broke up or she no, she thought he was cheating, Mm -hmm. but she never mentioned her getting hit. And she didn't have any injuries showing. I'm going to say this. So that's what the two people at the party. Unless Jonathan Majors, if unless all of his muscles are balloons sewed into his skin mm. if he were to strike that woman <laughs> you would see remnants today <laughs> yeah, to, <laughs> to, remnants. yeah as of right now yeah. as of this last 24 hours from that point to now mm. it, even if he had never touched her again from that point you would see it on her person mm-hmm. You would see it repeatedly on her person. Mm-hmm. Unless he was one of those dudes who did like the sneaky abusive stuff, like pinched him so hard, the skin turned purple or some shit but like she that. White, you gonna yeah, still see you that. would still see that. She would have so, pictures and proof of that. Yeah. Yeah, no, the arm, her arm did get on camera. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of scary if you, like, had I seen it. It was kind of scary. Ah! <laughs> we could just grab a ring. <laughs> uh, that was Shiley Renee. Um, sh- actually. We'll get back to Jonathan Major. Shiley says she wants to start YouTube. I said you have to wait until you're 13, because then that makes Why? that makes a little sense. I don't want it feels like exploitive when like it is. be having 100 thick kids on YouTube. But if they want to do it, it, enable the exploitation. I don't. That don't feel right. You, bro. you got a Pokemon cards too. Show her opening. Pokemon show cards. her opening cards. With a little voice I'll tell you over. what, she'll hit monetization before we oh, do. Oh, yeah, for sure. Shiley would be funding the RB podcast. Be, <laughs> Shally, see, that's nasty. Shiley would be funding the RB podcast. That's nasty. I don't want to move like that, bro. It would be, it would be 30, 35, 34. The rest goes the rest to Shiley. In terms of, in, in in terms of, uh, yeah. Yeah, of ownership of the RB podcast at that point, our equipment would be. Shiley of Renee's, the wall. Yeah, Shiley Renee's equipment. And then, it would have her name yeah. stickered on them. And, and then anytime, you know, we're recording and she wanted to be part of it, you're going to be like, you can't. And she's going to be like, who, baby? This is my... She's going to turn to Franklin State. 
Who paid for this? Nah, uh, she, I'm like, ain't nobody coming to you, see you, daddy. <laughs> I'm like, she, hey, she's, the she's, she's, she's right. They're not coming <laughs> yeah, to see me. Yep. They're here to see the Shiley Renee channel. You can, you can have her like a uh, woo-wop. They be exploiting the fuck out of Woo Wop. But that nigga's funny though. Yeah. He's funny as hell. Yeah. He be he slapped the shit out of somebody before. <laughs> and what do you do? He a kid. You gotta run the fade with everybody from DDG family at that point. Yeah, to get your get yeah. back for him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, I ain't you gonna hold them you. All out, then you gotta beat I ain't Woo-Wop. gonna hold you if <laughs> yeah, if if Woo Wop if Woo Wop slapped the shit out of me. And like he didn't get, he didn't get like discipline. Yeah, if he didn't get He's parented. Not disciplined, no. Yeah, if he didn't, if I tell, if, not on that. If no. I get smacked by Woo Up, and I'm not putting hands on a child, so don't even try to put that on me. Mm-hmm. And I go to Dub or DDG and be like, "Hey, yo, he just did this," and they be like, "All right." Well, first of all, if a camera's out, you're cooked. Yeah, you, they're well, not. I already, even, I already know that. If a camera's out, they're not gonna do anything. Yeah, so. So if I go up to them and, and tell them this and they don't do anything, immediately I'm going to be like, all right, so how you want to do this? And they're going to be like, what are you talking about? It's like, this the 60. How you want to do the 60? And they're going to be real confused. And then I'm going to hike up my <laughs> pants and I'm going to say, I'm going to ask you this one more time. How Just, you want to so do this 60? So you know I'm not sneaking. I'm not sneaking. Yeah, I'm not sneaking. 100% you. I'm not sneaking. <laughs> how do you want to do this 60? And then they gonna be like, bro, it's not even like that. Like we really jump. And I'm, and then I'm gonna sneak. I'm a, then I'm gonna slide, knock, knock out whoever I'm sliding unattended. And then from there, I'm getting jumped. How tall is DDG? It don't matter. No, I'm saying. No, like, but I'm telling you, it don't matter. I'm saying like, no, it don't, ma- I know it you, don't matter. I know for sure you could beat Dub. Oh it don't. God. It don't matter. I know you beat Dub. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just, saying, I'll, can I beat DDG? I'll say is this. What I'm saying. I've seen him stand next to Halley. He's not as tall as me. I'm, no, I'm saying, can I beat DDG? Because you're uh, gonna, the, you're working to, <laughs> you're giving Dub to work. right now. Out of shape, Rick is giving <laughs> Dub to work because Dub out of shape. <laughs> hey, 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 your dad. Hey, your dad. That, that takes, I'm that just takes think, like life off of you. It gives you strength, but at what cost? Take, yeah, yeah. Maybe because it's over his kid, but you're not trying to hurt Wu. Yeah, I'm not. You, you no, trying I'm to get the fade with, with him? You. Yeah, with him. I might, I might call like Lil Marquise, my little brother. Might have him like piece of woo up. It won't be fair. He's a little bit older than him. But, but that's more. Yeah, fair. it that might just. It, sense. He might just have to hit him with the quick shoulder shake, and then <laughs> and then just put him to sleep real quick. I'm trying to think, and I'm because I'm fat and I'm out of shape. Yeah. DDG be boxing. Yeah. It don't matter. Can I beat that nigga? I don't know. Uh, at the, at, which, as constructed. Hey, whichever lineup you want, you can have DDG. I could get me and Dub, Dub will make. I more could sense. get Dub. You could get DDG. I could get DDG and Dub. You could catch. I don't know the, some of those. The aftermath. I don't. I don't know. You could. You could catch. I'll you could catch Brooklyn. the cameraman or something. <laughs> Hilarious. You, His little sister. Yeah. <laughs> you could catch the cameraman. <laughs> you know he might want to step in or something. They but, like plaques. <laughs> why, why, why you? Why you beat her? She. She. She was screaming. She wasn't even, she wasn't even oh, yeah, stepping bro. in. Get your ass. <laughs> he just wanted to hit a woman. <laughs> he can't fool us. He just wanted to hit a woman. DDG like, nigga, I was squared up with you. <laughs> See, when well, you got your man <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> look, look at your man. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. And then just. <laughs> no, me going crazy on Brooklyn is crazy. You did That's this. That's crazy. If it wasn't for you, she'd be all right. Uh, DDG and Rick. Uh, DDG and Rick jumping yeah, Rick. Yeah. DDG and Dub jumping you. And I'm like, get off Rick for a keep beating. <laughs> That's crazy. Just catch another one. And you, <laughs> you hit it one more time so, so they know you mean business. Get the fuck off Rick. Stop playing with me. DDG and Dub, we don't want to fight this you guys. A joke, it's though. a joke. But if, you let, if you let Woo Op slap the shit out of somebody and you don't pair him, they're not going to do that. Expect the fade. Because I think he's done it. That's what I'm saying. Fade. I think he slapped the shit out of somebody. And whoever didn't run the fade is pussy. I could pussy. be wrong, but I think he slapped the shit out of somebody and they didn't do whoever anything. Whoever didn't run the fade is pussy. A hundred percent. A little kid smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> and I'm getting up and telling you to your... Like, if... if well, imagine that, that would, would, Imagine that with Shiley. Like, if, if, if Shiley, Shiley smacked, smacked the shit out of too? somebody. No, just somebody. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because... I would expect you to do something. Oh, yeah. I'm like, or, we, or I'm fading you. That's fair. That's it that's right fair. there. You got to fight. Yeah. yeah. That's you fair. still my mans. After we fade, I'm going to dap you up. It's going to be all love and we'll do a pod or something. Mm-hmm. But the fade is coming. If you don't air her like, after she's yeah, smacked like, oh, me. man. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> Why I you know, let her do that? This has been another episode of Shiley Renee. Yeah. 
Why you let her do that? No, nah, yeah, you're going yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what they would do, though. You nah. know that's what they would do. No, nah, I, would, I Ma- would. If cameras is off, maybe not. But if cameras is on, it's, it's clips. They're good. Yeah, they, they trying to get that well, content. I better hope those cameras turn off when I run that vague. Because they ain't going to like what go up. They're not going to like what go up. I know. The only thing, I'm t- I think Woo Up got a blick on him in his little fanny pack. That's what it keep me from. Because I think Woo Up will really shoot a nigga, though. I'm going to tell you this, right? And, what if Woo Up got a blick, though? You know what? I'll, this, is, this is how I'll say to clean it up, right? Mm-hmm. If any child. Not who I specifically. If any child ever upped the blick on me, they were they would catch the meanest street fighter uppercut they've ever caught in their life. You would you would see the first uppercut that would make someone leave their feet off the ground and spin in the air before they touch earth. This is not specifically towards any one child. This is just children in general. You up a blick on me. You will get hit with a special move you've never known existed a day in your life. And that's on God. You ever seen a nigga grab someone by the throat, throw them up, uh-huh. grab their leg before they went all the way up in the air and slam them back down on the ground? You ever see that? No, not <laughs> you, would, you would see that that day. Oh, fuck. Again, we don't want to fight DDG or Dub. No, that Those was just for... I, nice. I literally just did the disclaimer. <laughs> well, no, I'm just running it back because you know niggas going to make clips. We don't want to fight those guys. We just don't want Woo Up to slap the shit out of us either. So that's just being fair. What was he talking about? Johnson Majors. He was running away from his white woman. Yeah, he was running away from a white woman. After calling her, like, why can't you be more like... Coretta Scott King. Oh, let's talk about that. Yeah, so I listened to the full clip that came out. I also did. The conversation he had with her. We'll we'll also be breaking it down on TikTok. Oh, bet, bet. I get what he was saying. The points he was trying to make make sense. I get that part. But one, nigga, your analogies suck. (laughs) Because she's still a white girl. She can't be Coretta Scott King or... or, or uh, She can emulate Michelle them, even as a white woman. To a degree. Certain characteristics, I guess, yeah, she, they, she can emulate. But she's not them. That's and second... She's, she's not them. Second, nigga, you're an actor. You're not in the world hunger. You're not a politician. You're an actor. So you do is, films. You're not that great of a so man. So is Denzel be, not a great man? Yeah, but not to the point. Uh, Denzel, not Malcolm X for real. <laughs> he played Malcolm X. Okay. That nigga's not Malcolm X for real. The, if, if you're ranking great men, I'm not putting Malcolm X and Denzel in the same conversation. Only way he's getting in there is because he played that nigga. Okay. Like, you overhyping yourself as an actor. It's different if you were a humanitarian a politician, which politicians is gross, but they probably, if you do certain things, you could probably put yourself in that category. Yeah. If you were an activist of some sort, Jonathan, you're an actor, a new actor at that. You've only done five things. <laughs> if That's me and Rick pop now, we could pass you. <laughs> no, 100%, 100%. What are you talking about, bro? If we pop right now, got a couple UK films under our belt, we could pass this nigga. Like, come on, bro, stop. Just stop. I just felt like he just went too far with that. But I do get the sentiment of don't be out here like embarrassing me. You my girl. Mm. But at the same time, no, this is the third thing. Was she partying and shit when you met her? Yeah. You because can't. if she was. Don't try to change her. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> if she was partying. You signed up for and it. Then, yeah, you knew what she was going to be on. Just because you got with her didn't mean she was going to stop partying. Yeah. If you met Shorty shaking ass at the club. She's probably gonna keep shaking ass up the no, club, she is. most likely. I'm just that's just common sense. But go ahead, Rick. Now that's is this a link. Probably a little bit. I just felt like the darkness was like hovering over. Well, you you a little farther back. Oh, okay. Yep, now, now it's releasing you. Okay, there you go. But um, it was yeah. Ebon. He was on my <laughs> yeah, shoulder. He, he was about to yoke you up. Mm-hmm. But I think you summed it up pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um. I feel like there were some alarming things with that conversation. Yeah. Him mentioning his temper. Yeah, that was, didn't sound good. Yeah, that no. wasn't great. Because um, do you beat the bit? Yeah. Her crying was not great either, but, you know, that could be a, a lot of different things. Bitches do cry when they wrong. 
She knew she was probably wilding out. That's why she was crying. But uh, how would you react to get like? What if your woman was being like, "Why can't you be a great man like Jeff Bezos or Steve Jobs?" Would you take that as her comparing you to white men, or would you just take that as her actually comparing no? You? That's what I'm saying, right? No, so, I wouldn't. No. So should we look at that in a different lens? Wow, I might be a nasty nigga. Ah. Huh, the, guys? When you're wrong, yeah, you just speak up. You just admit you do were your wrong. research. Bare knuckles. Um, it's a quick Google search. Bare knuckles boxing, safer than boxing. It's a quick Google search. You'll see multiple articles saying the same shit I said in that clip. If you have any problems with it, suck my dick. Yeah, like, <coughs> that is crazy. That's a crazy way to look at it. <laughs> if a white girl yeah. that you were dating said yep. you should act more like Steve Jobs or Jeff Bezos or whoever she Mark considers. Zuckerberg. Yeah. Oh. Whoever she considers a great white man mm-hmm. is that her? No, wow, y'all let us know in the comments because I'm a little stuck now. Well, I this don't is think why so. people view white people as people, and people view black people as black people. Mm. We ain't nothing but a branch to them. Mm. When in fact, Steve. Your whole tree. Your whole tree. Come on, man. More of the story is leave those snow bunnies alone. <laughs> you might have to. And, I, and I'm an advocate. You are an I'm, advocate. I'm a snow bunny advocate. Shout out to Panga. Um, shout out Jade Jade West, Victorious. Liz uh, Gillies. Liz I don't Gillies. know. I had to. Liz, Liz is in regardless. I'm sorry. Y'all just going to have to be mad at me. If Liz called me right now, yeah. like, Plax, what's Lock, up? You locked in? I'm locked in. And I wish somebody would say something to me. I swear to God. Yeah. I'm like, I love her. Yeah. How dare uh, who you? Else? So there's Topanga. Topanga Liz. Back in the day, uh, she Liz. looked a little scary now. Just well, she's sad. older. There's no problem with that. She she's just older. looked scarier than she did back in the All day. All right, you're being disrespectful. She just she's the older. She's woman, still beautiful. She's she still she's still Yeah, she's great. still beautiful. But she young just, Topanga because that's just what my mind has goes, goes has to. in my mind when I see Topanga because that was the first introduction to Topanga. Uh, Liz um, Gillies, she was great. Jay West. West. That was that was prime Sydney Sweeney. Prime that was prime time. Sydney Sweeney, I guess, you know, Euphoria. There's moments in it to where, you know, because of her. Do you think niggas like her because her titties be out? Or do you think niggas just like her? I'd say it helps. Mm. I I definitely say it helps. <laughs> you that, know? that her titties be out in every movie. What's the percentage of her titties being out in Madam Web? Percentage? Mm-hmm. Out of Pre 100%. or post spider bite. Ooh. Because I can give you an answer. Give me both. Give me pre first. Pre spider bite once during the makeover scene. Okay, what about post? All the goddamn time. <laughs> Every what casual outfit. What about web rated? Because <laughs> that would tell us a lot if we go see titties. PG-13. Can you show titties? You'll PG? get cleavage. You'll get a ton of cleavage. We're going to get a scene of her changing or getting out the shower or something. And we won't see, but we'll see like very close. Like, uh, I don't think we'll get that. I think we'll just get low cut tops. Low cut tops. Well, we see. Because she has no, glasses. She had the sweater on in the But that's trailer. the thing. She had glasses in the sweater. She mm-hmm. was like the nerdy girl character. Yeah, yeah. A- after the spider bite. She going to change. Oh, yeah. that's. She's going to Peter Parker. But she's a woman. So it's going to be like no glasses, flowing hair, and low cut tops. And they're going to be like, oh, my God, that girl who had big boobs and was pretty before but had glasses on her face is now pretty without glasses and still has big boobs. Who would have thought? That's another thing. Uh, speaking of that, like, I don't know why trope. niggas, I don't know why niggas do that because, like, remember in high school, I'm not going to say no names, but you're going to know who I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Remember I'm in high school. It, I'm imagining. It was freshman year, maybe sophomore year. I'm uh-huh, imagining still. I was like. I was like this one shorty because her other friends were like baddies considered to the masses of our high school, I guess. And I was like, she wasn't because she was more nerdier and like, you know, religious at the time. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now you, the religious guys, you did it. You knew what I was talking about. <clears throat> so I was like, and niggas never want to give me credit for this. I was like, nah. She got. She's a heater. She. She got something. Y'all niggas sleep. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. And, then, and then they... And niggas wasn't. They was like, oh, Steve, you weird. Uh, yeah. Niggas are not you, but other yeah. niggas on my bumper. 
junior year, banger. Yeah. Ever since, banger. Yeah. And niggas be like, all in their inbox. We know a nigga. We know a nigga specifically that that done some things in the inbox. <laughs> and I just want my credit for that because I peeped it. I was like, nah, y'all, y'all. See, the other ones is cool, right? But that one, that one got it was it was definitely show. because of the religious. And was, she was in our grade it, as well. Yeah, I wasn't being yeah, a no, creep. No. She was in our we, grade. Honestly, our group only dated our grader up. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Well, we wasn't na- we nasty wasn't nasty niggas niggas. like other folks. Um, but there was one freshman that tried to slide on one of our mans, but she did look well, like a, a grown. Of our she man. looked like a grown adult. Well, we used to call her Case. Yeah, she was a Case. She was definitely a she case. She was a walking case. Because she would actively try to get at, when we were seniors yeah. and juniors, well, seniors, yeah. She would actively be trying to get at seniors. And I would have to tell niggas. How old she was. Niggas didn't, niggas was like, she knew? Yeah, that's, what, I remember that. Yeah. We First we thought she was new because she was in some like classes that she shouldn't have been. Yeah. Maybe she was like, she was just really smart in middle school. I don't know. But she was in classes that she shouldn't have been. And niggas was like, oh, she knew, da, da, da. And I don't know if it was me or somebody seen like a class list or seen her on something. Yeah. It was like, oh, no, this, she's a child. <laughs> Stop talking to Hey, come here. <laughs> Stop fucking talking to her. She's, she's a kid. Yeah. years old. Yeah, and then, and then we'd her, have bro. to yoke up because they'd be like, nigga, you're 17. And boys, if y'all out there like 15 and 17 isn't that big but of an we age were gap. Headed to, in the moment. It's not, no. In the, in, in, in the scheme of life, it's not. But in right. that moment, you have the mindset of you're going on the cusp of being to an adult. college or just being an adult, right? And this person isn't college. even out of puberty yet. Yeah. That's nasty. She just she just came from middle school. Yeah. You're going to college. Yeah, no, that's nuts. That's crazy. If you go to college and be like, oh, oh yeah, yeah I, I got to pick my girl up. Yeah, I got to pick my my girl up. It was like, oh, from where? High school. He's like, high school. oh, she a senior? He's like, nah, she... she she That's a junior. Yeah, that made, she, nah, she a soft. She was yeah, a well, sophomore. sophomore. Yeah, it was like, how old is she? Sixteen. How old are you? Eighteen. Come here, buddy. You're going to jail. <laughs> nah, Wait, you no, you're going to jail. You, but it's just, I'm like gonna this. look at you crazy. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah, you're. Yeah. My name is Chris Hansen. <laughs> it was. A, it was and a you're on Dateline niggas. NBC. <laughs> there was a few niggas that was buying into it. Oh, a hundred percent. And you know, hundred uh, percent. She looked like she was our age. She did, because at first, niggas thought she was just a new yeah. senior that just switched schools. Yeah, no, that's not safe. And then somebody found out, and somebody was like, hey, gang, step away. <laughs> Get away from her. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Hey, brother. I like that our group was one of the only groups yeah. that was 10 toes. Well, most of us. Most, there was most some, of us was allies. 10 toes on, nah, uh, if she's, even sophomores was like, like this one girl. Nine I, I out of 10 of us before. treated women how they were supposed to be treated. Yeah, and the one good, and the that's... one that does it, we don't talk to anymore. <laughs> I didn't even realize, what you, but now I get it. The it was it was a shorty that I talked to later on, that was like a year or two under us when we was in high school. Uh, that's different because you were out, yeah, yeah, we were out. out of but high she was like, she was like, yeah, she's like, yeah, I used to see you all the time or whatever, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. I was like, I never saw you. <laughs> and she was like, no, nah, like I would walk by you, I would say hi sometimes, blah blah blah. I was like, gang, <laughs> if you if you was you was uh, one of the dozen. <laughs> if you, no, 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 not like that. <laughs> you was one of the if dozen. you was a sophomore or freshman when I was, a I gym, was swimming in no, it. Oh, that's that <laughs> cap. <laughs> that's guy. I was sw- I was swimming in my own hand. <laughs> How about that? My own hand. But I, if you were a sophomore or freshman when we was juniors and seniors, called a solo. I was a yeah. I was a solo hooper. Unfortunately, I'm still a solo hooper. Um, I wasn't paying you no mind. Even if you said hi, I might be like, oh, what's up. Keep going. I'm like, this bitch is a child. <laughs> Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Oh, That's I got funny. another story. Speaking of uh, high school, you remember that girl that grabbed my crotch? <laughs> so it was me. I don't know if the camera caught this, but it was me, uh, another one of our homeboys. I think it was either one or two of our homeboys with us. Mm-hmm. But they said they don't remember, so I feel like I'm capping, but I <laughs> this happened. <laughs> so... We were walking, we, we walked down the hall. You know how we would walk around? We wasn't supposed to, but we would walk around and shit. And some kids would sit in front of their lockers, do yeah. homework, talk, whatever. I would walk around, and this girl would, like, say shit, but I never thought she was talking to me. I thought she talked to her friend, like, talking shit to her mm-hmm. friends. 
And she would say crazy shit, and I would look at one of our homies like, oh, they wild, like, they going crazy, say crazy yeah. shit. And this would happen for a few days, a few weeks. I'm walking, and it's a few people in the hallway, so I'm kind of, like, closer to people that's sitting down. So I'm walking, trying not to step on nobody, so I'm walking by. Mm-hmm. And the girl grabs my thigh and says some I can't even remember what she said cuz I was so like dumbfounded that I was grabbed. Yeah. <laughs> and she said some crazy shit. And I said I said yo get off me. <laughs> <laughs> I said yo. What are you doing? And our homeboy was laughing. And we got around the corner. I'm like, you're laughing, and I just got assaulted. assaulted. <laughs> yeah, no, that's crazy. That would stun me. And he, I was. I was like, did that happen? He was cracking up. He said, yeah, you might as well go back. I said, no, I'm not going. You might as well go back as insanity. I said, no, I'm not going back. And that was an example. And she was younger than us. I don't know what grade she was in, but I knew she was younger yeah. than us. No. <laughs> no. Uh what would you would have done if you witnessed that, Rick? I would, I would have told the police. <laughs> you would have told the police. Yeah, no, you, you my man just got jammed up. Like, hey, Mrs. Hey, Mrs. Mrs. Simone, come here right quick. Get her. Detain her. <laughs> she, she just attacked him. <laughs> Let go of him. Uh, I, I saw the screen. I would have grabbed him by her collar. Let, Let go, go of him. <laughs> He didn't. He didn't consent to this. <laughs> Let go of him. Oh man, some of y'all in the comments gonna be like, "Oh, he fumbled." <laughs> no, nobody wants to just be grabbed. Same, those same niggas who say out of he nowhere, fumbled bro. agree with Boozy about getting his twelve-year-old son a stripper for his birthday. Oh wow, that nigga. If you don't see anything wrong with that, seek psychiatric help and or go to jail, or both. They have both, psychiatrists in jail. Both is preferable. <laughs> they have both psychiatrists in jail. We haven't talked about anything, really. I uh, know we have. Jonathan Majors, Jonathan Kanye. Majors, Kanye. And then a bunch of just surrounding Everything else. Shit. Let's get a topic in there. Let's well, try we're to almost at the end of this episode. Yeah, this is the last go <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I can talk about the one that I, I didn't talk about before. Uh, what? That we were supposed to start the show off with. I forgot what we were supposed uh, to start. Gamers? Oh, okay, go ahead. Talk to me. So, Steve. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's been a recent trend, mm-hmm. th- at least for like the end of this year. Okay, that gamers have been getting disrespected by these game companies. Mm, how so? So I don't know if you've been tapped in to what's going on, but basically, there's this game called The Day Before. Mm, okay, it's it was supposed to be a survival horror game, um, like multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Basically, zombie apocalypse happens. You okay. have to scavenge for food. Very realistic, kind of like of yeah, kind of like a DayZ or a Tarkov, but but third person. Um, and they released that game, and it had none of the things they promised. Wow, really? Yeah, that's and, crazy. And you could run around for days and almost not see a zombie, and the it, the mechanics just weren't well, and the multiplayer was garbage. It, it it didn't it's a have zombie game. Yeah, though. it didn't have anything that it promised. It sold like it sold like pretty decent. Uh, but the player base dropped by ninety percent in four days of it releasing. They f- refunded the niggas money. It was made by a studio called Fanastic. Oh, Finessers. Yeah. The Finessers. Okay. And they refunded people their money <coughs> if you didn't pay if you only played it. For like less than two hours or something like that, and they refunded their That's money. That's not fair. Because it's not. It's not. It's one hundred percent not right. Because two hours is your gauge time. Yeah. Let alone yeah. It's, no. it's insanity. So, people played it, got their money back. The company changed their name, and they're probably going to release games under their new name. And I feel like this is just a moment in a long line of game companies disrespecting gamers. Like, the new Dragon Ball Z game that's coming out, Sparking Zero, mm-hmm. uh, the spiritual People successor. are excited about Yeah, Tenkai, uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Mm-hmm. That game, as of right now, will not have local multiplayer. You'll only be able to play online, like, uh, with, with your friends. So you either got the story mode, or if you want to play with your friends, you have to play online. If you're both in the same room, and y'all want to play that game against each other, like, fight. You can't? You can't. 
Huh. That's like if you bought Mortal Kombat today. You, you could can only, only play, play online. with your friends online. So only if they also bought the game or they were game sharing with you. And you can only play it when you're not in the same room with each other. So if gang wanted to come over and play Mortal Kombat, if that was the game. Yeah. They, they could. That's fucking dumb. Yeah. Maybe we just old heads, maybe. No. But that, like, that shit don't make sense. You should still be able to play. You should still play. be able to local multiplayer. Yeah. What if you don't have internet? What if you, what if you have go? siblings? Yeah, you can have siblings. Oh, that is a good move, though, for the parents. They'd be like, well, let your little brother play. I can't. I can't. Look at look. One at a time. I can't. I can't let him play. Sorry. Yeah. And my record. I'm not going to let him you play on mine because of my record, you know? So that's a good move for the kids with siblings, kind of, because you don't have to share. Very, very not true. <laughs> uh, um, 2K. Oh, well, you know, they've, they've been finessing. They've been finessing gamers for years. <clears throat> With their antics, updating mm-hmm. rosters, but making them pay $70 to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, broken economy, but making people pay money to be a good player in the game. Mm-hmm. Like, all that stuff. And it doesn't even guarantee you'll be a good player. It does not. It guarantees you you'll be the max version of whatever you are, so you could just be super shit. Yeah, but, like you're the best version of a bum. Yeah. But you could still ultra be bum. a yeah, ultra bum. Yeah. Shout out 2K o- for Omega being a bone. terrible game for years. Yes. And shout out to Live for also being a terrible game, not being able to maintain and compete. Yes. So we only can play 2K as basketball fans. 100%. Oh, we got a sub. <laughs> shout out to you. <laughs> Unsubs, yeah. they hear us. Yeah, 100%. We usually get a sub, lose a sub, gain two more. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. That's, usually, that's what's going to happen when we hit the rack. It's go dance for a couple of days, probably. Yeah. And, then, and then it will step fully over and be yeah. like, 103 one, or 1,003 That'd be nice 1,300 1,300 No, 1,003 Oh, uh, 1,003 I thought you meant 1,300 1,300 would be nice as well <laughs> If we could skip to that That'd yeah, be that'd amazing be um, Yeah, no, games Mainly 2K And I think people are copying 2K and Madden's Thing of finessing people because they were the first to do it. The first great finessers? Yeah, first great game finessers. And people were like, hey, these niggas keep going for this. <laughs> Every, Every year. Every year. Yeah. They, they, pay, they pay for deluxe versions, too. Fuck it. But the thing with 2K and Madden is they're an, an established thing. Yeah. So it's easier for them to finesse people. If you're new, like the finessers, that company, whatever name they Fnastics. were. Fanastics. Fanastics. or Fanastics. Uh, you guys should have dropped this, made it a banger, maybe dropped one more game as a banger, then started finessing people. Finessing, yeah. Now you kind of fucked yourself. Well, they started a new company. Yeah. But once people piece together that this is made by the finessers, it's over. Uh, one thing that this generation lacks, well, I guess this generation, I'll say the generation that we're currently in and the ones below us, mm-hmm. uh, they lack research and comprehension skills. So we'll take everything at face value. So if it, the name is different, we won't do no digging. I have to keep telling people to Google something that I said because there's multiple articles yeah, all day, agreeing with Rick what, is legitimately all day a, agreeing with what I said. Yeah. Like I wasn't just pulling it out of the thin fucking air. Yeah, it, it was it was it was an opinion, but it wasn't because it's like fact. Because oh my god, boxing companies and boxers have co-signed that what Rick said was true. Yeah. So. But yeah. uh, is there anything else you want to say? I don't know. I'm tired, actually. Yeah, just, like, I just kind of hit a wall. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did, too. Hey, um, I'm glad y'all could get tired with us. This yeah. has been another episode of the R&B Podcast, episode 126. Uh, what is it? Ch- chance, chances. Chance get a dance? Or chances dances. Chance gets dances. Oh, Chance got dances. Dances with chances. Chance. One of them. Pant, prance and man. All right, whatever. Clances. All right, we really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and check out all of our other episodes and content. We do react skits, um, alarms. Alarms, yeah, we do a lot of alarms. We do react skits. Uh, what else we do? Alarms. No, we do oh, react podcast. skits, podcasts. Uh, separate conversation videos. Yeah, TikTok. We also TikTok, do TikTok. TikTok is going crazy. We also yeah. do public interviews. That's cap. No, we don't. No, we do We're pushing not. 30. Why would we do that? <laughs> you know, 100%. Uh-huh. Every time you said every time you you said we should do that, I always think about We're pushing 30. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah. Too old to do that. It it would only work as if we, we could do it at conventions. At conventions. 100%. We can do that. We can't just do it on the street. Yeah, we can't go to the mall and be like uh <laughs> yeah. kiss or slap. We can't <laughs> 
We can't do kiss or slap because we might go to jail one. How would y'all feel about niggas two? is really starting YouTube at thirty doing kiss or slap? <laughs> How would y'all feel about two fat ugly niggas going to the mall doing kiss or slap? If enough people go sign it, we'll go do it. Right, Rick? I'm not doing that dumb shit. But we are, okay, we got more not. content on the way. We're doing more reacts. We're doing more skits. We're oh, we gonna start doing a. We gonna start uh, trying food because you know we yeah, like we'll food. Start, yeah, we'll, we'll start. Yeah, we'll start fat manning it out. Yeah, and then you might catch us um, uh, documenting our gym journeys. Yeah, coming soon, most likely. Because I don't think we're gonna hit the rack, but <laughs> not not the way we're going. Not the way we're going. So uh, Unless, we will hit a rack next yeah, year. I believe next year. Uh, no, we'll hit a rack first quarter of the year. Yeah, we'll but, hit a rack by. March, almost in February. That, by March. By March, that's fair. We won't hit it by the first, though. I don't Not think. by the first. So uh, it would have to be something have to go crazy. Yeah. For us I like we have a skit in the vault that might do it. We have a few skits in the vault that we I might like, do that it, I really yeah. like. But we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoy Shia Renee. Her YouTube channel will be coming in like six or seven years or something like that. Might as well just put um, her to work. <laughs> Get I'm this not, shit going. I'm not exploiting my child. R and B Network. Fuck the podcast. RP Network. Put her that, right under the umbrella. I'm not going to lie, Rick. That's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> like, not working, putting Shia to work, but <laughs> RP oh, Network. Oh, we never did who you got. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. Fuck. Let's just do it. Uh, All right. Damn, y'all got a fake ending. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, somebody probably clicked off. Yeah, well. You're like, 100%. wait, it's 10 minutes left yeah. in this motherfucker. All right. Talk to me, Rick. All right. If you have it, this is RMP's only returning segment, Who You Got. So basically, we have names of characters and groups of characters in a hat. We each pull a character, and we basically have to argue with each other about who would win in a fight. Okay. You All go right, you ready? first. Yep, you go open up first. I got Superboy. Oh, fuck. That's actually a good point. Might pull. be over for me. What you got? Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston, high on coke, horny and bloodlusted. <laughs> you wrote that shit because I never did it. <laughs> so we got Superboy versus Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. Yes. We have, Santa, Wait, Santa. We have Superboy. Yeah, Superboy. Versus, versus Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. High on coke, <laughs> horny and bloodlusted. So you going So this is this is what I'll ask you. You okay. could either you could either take this L or nah. you could, or you could get a mystery draw. Nah. You put it. You could put that back and get a mystery draw, and then and then you got to stand on it. I'm trying to think what would be funnier. It's not going to be much of a conversation, I'll tell you that. There's nothing you're going to say. You're going to have to mystery draw it. Fuck. This is a good one in another situation. In any other situation. That's fucking yeah. Superboy. We need to put more regular people in here. Uh, there are. This is a good one, though. There's some regular people in there. Okay. I, I pulled Little little Bill. You did pull, pull Little Bill. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what this is. I think that's something I wrote, the way it's folded. George Washington with knowledge of all martial arts. Okay. <laughs> so Batman. <laughs> you know, okay. Okay. I'll make it even. It's cuz it's Superboy. Like it's not like I, I lost that every time. It's yeah. Superboy. See well, I want my Whitney Houston no. <laughs> Bobby Brown no, you got, pick. You got. <laughs> What'd you get? Steve from Blue's Clues. That's not. See this. No, is, that's fair. I, I got Steve from Blue's Clues versus George Washington. He's a multi-dimensional traveler. <laughs> Rick, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Stop playing Rick. Look me in my eyes and tell me so you're wait, not So wait, so Steve Rick. So Steve from Blue's Clues is not a multi-dimensional traveler. Rick, don't do this, bro. So what so how did he Rick, blue, how did he blues do, do into a, a, a painting? What does that have to do with beefing? What does that have to do with beefing? George Washington. Okay. A nigga that used axes. Yep. No, that's Abe Lincoln. He don't use axes. He, no, he does. He has. He has. Uh, he has the grills. The yeah. first nigga to have grills. George Washington, yeah. with all knowledge 
of no, beefing. No, he has, a, he, has a, he has a axe. He has a he, he chopped down the cherry tree. Cherry tree, so he does have an axe. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about. He has an axe yeah. and knowledge of all martial arts yep. versus Steve from yeah. Blue's Clues. He's working Steve. All Steve gonna do is just keep trying to jump in and out of the blue world. No, and he'll get his ass. Why would he just blue school do into that nigga mind? He okay now. You're so he, no, so no, he no, can't no, do he, that. He can't do that, bro. He, he can't, can't blue school do into a nigga no, mind. He can't blue school do into a nigga says mind. Says who? He can't. You're making it says him, who? Because that makes him a god level. Like he's like um. What that was he not? He he's has not a dog god, that bro. that only says wow, and he understands everything it says. That's that's just a nigga that's good with animals. What he's Sherlock Holmes level of intelligence. No, he's okay. You're over hyping Steve. You're over hyping Steve. So you're the so, nigga. So you're telling me I love Steve. So you're from telling Blue's me Blue's. you could solve the the clues he and you can solve the mystery he has by when Blue leaves a little paw print on a random object and he writes it down in his notebook. Okay. And he sits in his thinking chair. He's like, think, think, think. No, right. you're not doing. You're not this solving. This is the same those as mysteries. the Wonder Pets thing. That's cool. But what does that have to do with beefing? He has knowledge. George Washington, you wrote the caveat. So I'll say this, With right? knowledge of all martial arts. I'll say this. It, him. it has the same caveat as the backyard again because his ability is borderline imagination. Yeah, but he can't conjure shit up. He can just jump from place to place. Soon as George get that nigga, it's no, over. No, if he has his crayon, he can. Oh. Yeah, he, he writes stuff on a notepad. What does it do? Does it appear? It floats in the air. Does it appear though as a solid object? Um, I'm not sure. I would have to scroll through my Rolodex of Blues Clues, but he's definitely drawn stuff on his notepad and made it appear. That's a feat. But if it don't turn into a solid solid object, that's even if it does, this nigga has an axe yeah. and a knowledge of all he martial just arts. Could do onto the axe. Ring. What does that do? What does that do? You can't hit him. So it's a draw. At, at best. <laughs> if you're not letting me blues could do it to his mind, then yes, it's a draw. He can technically blues could do it to his mind. <laughs> okay. Not the mind, because that makes him, that's crazy. He could probably do it onto the axe. But that's, you're giving up because you don't want to beef. He just weighed him out. No, bro. No, Rick. You lost this one, bro. I'm sorry. I don't think I lost it. You gave it to me because I, I've lost. I've already lost. I don't think I, but, I, don't think I lost you had it. Superboy think about it like this, right? Sherlock level intellect. That's extreme, but all right. He could talk to inanimate objects. He's schizophrenic, but all right. Yeah. No, he could talk to inanimate objects that affect the world. No, his world. No, his schizophrenic the world. world. Because he's been able to, he's left the house and he's talked to objects. Occasionally, yes. And people have understood that he's talking to objects. And they've even talked to the objects with him. But what if that's just other niggas that's mentally ill like he is? See, like all the niggas you can't, that he's you been can't, with. You can't change the world. You can't change the world to fit it. Because at that point, backyard agains are just animals in the backyard. But you wouldn't hold that. So you got to hold this. If the world says that's what his abilities are, that's what his abilities are. You know, you know what's an inanimate object, Steve? What? An axe. You know, you know what he could do? What? Convince the axe. You know what he could convince the axe? What? To lop that nigga George Washington's head off. Mm, no, no, bro. I can't give you that, bro. He's not convincing the axe. That'd be funny as fuck. He's like, hi, Mr. Axe. How does George treat you? Yeah, basically. And he's like, well, not well. He keeps me kind of Well, all right, how about shit. this? Oh, fuck. Him convincing the ex yeah. to chop off George, well, he wouldn't expect that either. He and George watched an old nigga. He would be like, what are you talking like, to? He's yeah. like, what the yeah. fuck? And then the ex will leap out his hands. He's like, he like, you must have the sickness. <laughs> I'll end it for you. And yeah. try to lift the ex. And, and it slips. How about this? Does, does Steve have uh, salt and pepper on him? Because uh, George got his axe, yes. He what has, about Paprika? He has all his folks. He uh, has, he all has of blue, them? He has blue as well. He has the, the folks. Uh, Pale and Bucket? <laughs> yes, he has. Oh, he's not losing. Pale and Bucket? He's not losing. He got his handy dandy notepad. He got Pale and Bucket? Fuck the notepad. Pale and Bucket? He's not losing. 
That's a dumb. Stop, bro. Stop. Pa- pail and Rick, bucket? Rick Stroll. In the sandbox? Nah, bro, You're Rick not Stroll. losing. Rick Stroll. I will give you that he is an interdimensional being. He yes, can he is. jump. He's Doctor Who, basically. He, got, he got <laughs> he basically. He's a child's version of Doctor Who. Because he does travel to different countries and shit too now. Um, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. He could he could potentially, but that depends on the Axe's personality. Because if the Axe is a nice person, I wrote do- uh, do Steve from Blue's Clues with Dr. Manhattan's abilities. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, that, that's clips. Because <laughs> he's already kind of crazy. I'll give you a draw, Rick. Okay. I'll give you a draw. I, I fought hard for that draw. Yeah, I'll give you a draw. <laughs> See, you I really don't believe in it. I'm not ten toes <laughs> on it, but I'll let you have yeah, it. Let me have it. Let us know what y'all think in the comments yeah. down below. Steve from Blues Clues with all of his abilities yeah. versus George Washington with all knowledge of martial Oops. arts and an axe. And an axe. Who yeah. wins that fight? RMP who you got. That's the end of the, the episode because yes. I'm tired. And we're not doing all the outro again. So yeah, we're we done. love you guys. We love you guys. Peace out. Grah. Yeah. Moves, RP groove, ay. Yeah, I've been in the RP 